you guys this is your boy Andre Andre travels back with another video what you guys are looking at is another historical site this is a landmark right here in Miami which we know it as downtown Miami today the area where I'm at right now is priceless so I'm going to begin the video it's not open the museum is not open yet so I'm just going to document what I can for you all hope you guys enjoy the video so let's begin. All right, guys, this this piece of history in Miami is priceless. The land I'm standing on is priceless. This is scarred land, scarred Indian land. We got mermaids. I see a a dark-skinned indigenous guy on the wall as well. This is natural limestone and this is a natural spring water area as well. This area belonged to the Tequesta Indians. And uh, Miami Circle is not too far from here as well. This is amazing, I can't believe I'm finally here. I'm trying to wait till the owner come and open up the, open up the gate so I could get a better view and document more more information for you guys, but I'm going to document what I can. You guys can see it. Hold on a second. But this is a mysterious well. A mystery well. Sorry about that. The address is 87 Southwest 11th Street, Miami, Florida. I'm in downtown Miami. But this is the side of the house. The art is amazing. They have like a little Indian statue right there as well. But this territory is marked as a scarred historical site for the Tequesta Indians. This historical site is hidden between a high rise and brickle. It's a small it's a small spring in a bed full of natural limestone. So you can see the natural limestones is still here. And the owner, I believe, was offered like 1.2 million dollars or two million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. But I'm just gonna try to document much as possible. It's not open, he's not here. But this is a historic site. It is hidden between a high rise and brickle. It's a small spring and natural limestones, meaning you can get a taste of the natural spring water. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait to see if he's gonna be here soon. I'll try to have a conversation with him. The art look, the art is pretty nice here. This is my first time being here as well. I'll post a document because I got a little lazy, but I'm doing it for you guys. Remember, this belonged to the Tequesta Indians. But besides the spring, let's talk about what was discovered here at the Scarred Land. I think I got up too early. That's why he's not here. But let me walk around back to the house. And I'm gonna leave the location below. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping more videos for you guys. And I have a video about the Miami Circle where the Tequesta live not too far from here as well. natural limestone area right here as well. I'm trying to look for the natural spring but I don't know where it's at. But yeah, I'm just going to stand right here and I'm going to break the video down to you guys why I am here. But besides the spring, let's talk about what was discovered. Like I said before, at this location, the owner discovered animal bones, arrowheads, seashells, jewelry that belonged to the Tequesta Indians. 
a indigenous tribe of the eastern Florida coast. Remember, uh, the Tequesta Indians wasn't the first to inhabit Florida, but they lived here for a very long time. And they traveled throughout the Florida coast. Where I read information stating that that tribe went to Texas as well. They very similar from the Mayans. They're not, they symbols is very similar. Look at the wall art. But I hope you guys liked the video. I was hoping I'm a little disappointed about not gaining entrance to the property, but oh well, I'm documenting what I can. So it's gonna be a little short video. And this owner only will sell the property if somebody willing to put a museum. But it's a natural spring water um, here as well. Look up the Miami Circle, another Tequesta settlement. I believe it is 1700 or 2000 years old or more. But that place is very historical as well. They have artifacts at the Miami History Museum. As well, I will be at the Miami Miami Museum History. I'm sorry about that, but the History of Miami Museum, I will be there as well to document some artifacts there. But this place here, I had to come here first. Man, the painting look amazing. I wonder what's in the backyard. That's my question. But, I hope you guys like the video. I will be posting more videos like this very soon. I will be traveling a lot next year as well. So you guys stay tuned. Peace.